Hello again, and welcome to your my.ncwc.edu tutorial. We will begin by going over how to access the site itself. You can easily access the site by typing in your address bar at the top of your browser, my.ncwc.edu. This will take you directly to the My NCWC homepage. In order to log in to My NCWC, you must be a registered student and the Information Systems Office must have already created your username. Your username will contain your first and last initial directly followed by your student ID number. For instance, if your name is Amy Student and your student number is 123456, your username would be AS123456. Your initial password, if you have not changed it yet, is your eight digit birthday in the format month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. For instance, if you were born on January 8th, 1988, your password would be 01081988. These instructions are also available in the welcome portlet on the My NCWC homepage. When you log in for the first time, you will be prompted to make a new and unique password. This password will also apply to your student email. There are also instructions on the student email portlet for accessing your email account prior to the My NCWC page. Your student email will likely not be available until about one week prior to your first class starting. Please bear in mind, North Carolina Wesleyan College operates on a one password system. You will use the same password for all NCWC accounts. When you change your password for your My NCW page, you change your password everywhere. Once you have logged into My NCWC, a new home screen will appear. Across the home screen are a few menu options. Home, Adult Student Programs, Student, Student Life, Academics, Admissions, Alumni, My Finances, and My Pages. At the very top of the screen in the upper right hand corner is a head and shoulder silhouette that you can use to access and change your personal information. Your personal information includes your address, contact information, birthday, and other personal information. It is imperative that this information be kept up to date. If this information is not accurate, there are no guarantees that you will receive correspondence from the college. Next to the silhouette is a magnifying glass. By clicking on the magnifying glass, it will open up a search bar. In this search bar, you can type anything to search the entire My NCWC website for whatever information you might need. For instance, to quickly look up a professor's email, I could enter his or her name into the search bar and it would generate results that can lead to the information that I needed. Let's explore the Home tab some more. There are many portlets on this page, including a Welcome, Password Management, Instructions on Student Email Access, Instructions on your web printing information, and Campus Announcements. If a professor posts any announcements in your courses, it will appear here. Finally, you also have an events calendar which will hold your course meetings as well as other fun activities on campus. On the left, other portlets include course schedules, class pages, and groups to which you may be a member. Other links on the home page will take you to the NCWC Athletics website, faculty and staff email list, the library website, the NCWC homepage, and your student email. Next to this home tab is the Adult Student Programs tab. By clicking on the Adult Student Programs option in the top menu, you will open up the Adult Student Programs webpage. On this page, you can access many portlets including the Welcome, CLEP and DSST schedule, Aspire announcements, Adult Student Program calendar, course schedule, and forms. CLEP and DSST tests are available on each testing Saturday and more information can be found in this portlet, including when the registration deadlines are for each testing date. The Aspire Announcements portlet contains Adult Studies specific announcements and similarly the Adult Studies calendar contains information on events pertaining to the Adult Studies program. Using the course schedule portlet, you can easily search the course catalog using any information you have to find if the course you need will be taught in upcoming terms. Forms you might need for the Adult Studies program are also available on this page under the Forms portlet. These forms include ERP forms, registration forms, how to test out of classes, and many others. Next to the Adult Student Programs tab is the Students tab. 
Upon clicking the Student tab, it will open the Student page. This page contains portlets titled Student Welcome Message, All My Courses, Student Resources, Announcements, and Calendar. The Student Welcome portlet includes contact information if you require assistance. Also on this page is the portlet titled All My Courses, which allows you to see all past, current, and future courses, and the Student Resources portlet which houses some handouts to help you operate the My NCWC website. The Announcements portlet will show any announcements from professors or other pages you might subscribe to. The final portlet on the student page is the Calendar, which will show when your classes meet and other important dates. On the students page, you are also greeted with a new menu. The new menu allows you to explore your academic and degree information. Let's take a closer look at the academic information page. Here you find your personal student schedule, course history, grade report, which can show reports from a current or from previous terms, an unofficial transcript, GPA projection portlet that can predict your GPA might be at the end of a semester based on grades you enter from your current courses. These portlets are also available on the academics page from the top menu bar. In addition to these portlets, other portlets relating to your courses are available here. These are the course search, browse, and course history portlets. On the degree information page, the course needs and degree audit portlets will both show what requirements you have or have not yet met in order to graduate with your declared major. You can also generate a degree worksheet by clicking here which will show you in more detail what classes you have remaining. The degree information page will also allow you to apply your credits to another major using the major exploration and what if scenarios portlet. Another new option on the student page menu is the smart thinking portlet. Smart thinking is an online 24 hour tutoring service available to all NC Wesleyan students. By clicking on the link in the menu, it will take you to a page that will allow you to connect to the service. This service offers one-on-one -on -one tutoring services in many subjects, including math, writing, science, business, Spanish, computers and technology, and career writing and interviewing. You can sign in anytime for a drop-in session, schedule a future session, or just simply ask a question that they will try to respond to within a day. Smart Thinking also offers writing help in the form of practice or submitting your writing to be reviewed. If you don't like working directly with a tutor, there are also instructional videos resources, and other study aids available all the time. Also available in the student page menu is transcript requests. Some applications you might fill out after your time at NC Wesleyan will require a transcript from your time here. It is using this tab that you will submit a request for a transcript to be sent either to you or to the requesting institution. These requests may be done online using Transcripts Plus or via mail, fax, or email. Further instructions for Transcripts Plus are in the Transcripts Request Portlet on this page. While the Transcript Request form is available in the Forms Portlet, the contact information on where to send it is in the Transcript Requests Portlet. You can research and join campus groups by using the Student Life page. By browsing groups under the Campus Groups Portlet, you can find groups you might be interested in joining to help better your college experience. The My Finances tab in the top menu can be used to access information for both the business and financial aid offices. On the My Finances homepage, there is a Welcome to My Finances portlet, an announcements portlet, and instructions on how to make a payment with CashNet. In the new menu on the My Finances page, you can further explore business office and financial aid information. In order to open the business office page, simply click on the business office menu option on the left. On the business office page, resources include a welcome portlet that discusses the information that is now available online. In this portlet, you also find contact information for both the business and financial aid offices. The next portlet on the page is the account information portlet. Here you will find your account balance and course and fee statements to help you better understand your finances and where your fees may be coming from. The forms portlet includes any forms you might need, including adult study specific forms like the employment reimbursement program forms. 
The online forms portlet is where you will go to request a payment plan in order to help you pay balances on your account. To explore the financial aid page, simply click on the financial aid link in the left menu. The financial aid page also has a welcome portlet with contact information for all financial aid advisors. Other portlets on this page are the awards portlet, where you can see all federal and institutional awards, the document tracking portlet, which allows you to follow along with documents that you've submitted for review by the financial aid office. The forms you might need to complete for financial aid are located in the forms portlet on this page. And the final two for portlets are apply for loans and apply for FAFSA, which contain links to help you apply for loans and federal student aid using the FAFSA website. You can now use CashNet to make a payment to the college. The CashNet portlet is available on the My Finances page, and you can pay here using a debit or credit card or an e-check. The final link in the top menu bar is My Pages. Consolidated here is all of the information you might need during each subterm you take classes with North Carolina Wesleyan College, including announcements from your professors, calendar with class meetings, as well as quick links to any group pages you might be a member of. This concludes your My NCWC tutorial. Thank you and have a great day.